Hello everyone, my name is Josh. And my name is Jay. And we want to encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can watch Edifying and Lightning. We've said this the last time. We have said this the last time. Some of you still have not subscribed. Calm down, Jay. I will not. I will not calm down. How hard is it? How hard is it? It's just a button. It's over here. Where? Here. What? Who shifted the subscription button? Hold on. You see? Be careful, Jay. You see? You see how easy it is? You see how easy it is? It, 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 it doesn't burn! Are you sure this boy is Noma? Why would you say that? Look at the way he's looking. What is wrong with the way he's looking? He did not even smile at me when I put the food before him. Did you smile at him? Yes, of course. I smiled at him. <laughs> anyway, it's not everyone that likes smiling. I have a friend. Who smile only seasonally? Mm. He smiles as seasonal. Mm. I know you keep strange friends. And that is what you are trying to do with this one. But are you sure we are not making a great mistake? <sighs> Mommy. Remember we have prayed about this. And we were convinced. You that's... were convinced. You were convinced to welcome him. I don't know him. Well, very soon you will. You, you, know, you know, he may look violent and brutal on the outside. Mm. But I know on the inside he has a very gentle and sweet spirit. Muffins, what is the problem here? What kind of question is that, Daddy? Can't you see a problem? Martins, don't you like it here? Get me out of here. Martins, tell me what you don't like here. And I will change it. Is it the division? Daddy, why are you talking like that? If he tells you he doesn't like this house, are you going to change the whole house? I want to go home. Home? This is home. Ah! The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! I'll continue to break things in this house until you show me the way to my house. The Martins. blood of Jesus! Martins. The blood of Jesus! You can't... The blood of Jesus! 
The what? blood of Jesus. Can I, can I please talk? Ah, no. Daddy, you cannot talk. The blood of Jesus will do the talking. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Please, mommy, please, 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 please. Martin, you can go ahead. There's, you can go ahead break it. There's no problem. Daddy, it's a problem. It is a big problem. Martins, you can go ahead breaking things. As God provides, I will keep on replacing them. Daddy, Daddy. Daddy. But what happens if you are broken? Daddy, who is going to replace you, Martins? Step back. Daddy, don't move closer to him. Who is going to give you a new heart? That is the blood of Jesus. A new spirit. You don't know me, old man. I, I may not know you. You don't know what I'm capable of. You are right. I can spill blood. I am not afraid of blood. You don't know me. I don't know you. But Jesus knows you. Jesus? Yes, Jesus. He's an expert. He's a specialist in fixing broken, broken people. 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 <sighs> Martins, how did you get to know that? My classmate. She once told me that she was a broken girl molested at the age of 10. But now she's fixed. She can look back on her past and smile. But for me, the things I've seen with my eyes are too heavy. Too heavy for me to carry. Jesus carry them. Allow Jesus carry your load. There is no load that is too big for him to carry. He is the greatest burden carrier. Let Jesus carry your body. Martins, allow Jesus carry your body. He's ready to carry your body. God. God. You are the God of the past. You are the God of the present. And you are the God of the future. God, heal his past. Renew his present. Restore his future. If you can hear me, I am sorry. I messed up. And if I have just one half. Oh, I'm going to run down to your place. I will hug you. I will hug my back. I will eat our food. Please kill me, I messed up. I messed up really bad. And now I'm in a big mess. Isolation. It is not bad enough that you put your son in prison. Your only son. You have to use your influence to put him in solitary confinement. Yes. Why? Because I'm his father. Have you ever spent a night in jail, Sawyer? No. 
I thought the whole idea of um, sending Martins to jail was to frustrate him. Then you leverage your frustration and make your demands known. Simple. It's been two weeks, Sonia. You're treating that boy like an animal. Now, don't you dare. Don't you dare advise me on how to raise my own son. You're not raising your son. You're, you're, you're destroying him. If by destroying him, he becomes what I want him to be, then so be it. Sonia! Don't. Now, let's pretend we never had this discussion, okay? Ha! In darkness and isolation, your son will break. A broken man is easy to control. So what's your plan? I want to ride on the third dimension. What? Uh, no, 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 no. So, the third dimension? Why not meet him personally? If I approach him personally, he will just treat me as always. I have to let him know that there are powers that be. I need a dramatic appearance. You don't need a dramatic appearance to talk to your son. Hey, you watch me, buddy. This drama is going to be a very long one. The third dimension. Hey. Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon, sir. We have our sister here from the Ministry of Education. Offer to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, as you all know, that the federal government gives scholarship uh, to students who are exceptional and excellent in their academics. This year, gracefully, we have the recipient in this class. <laughs> and with my principal honor this afternoon, I will call forward Ms. Sandra Effield. Please jam your hands together as you come to Hello, Sandra. Guess what? And what is it? Is that there? I want both of you to hear this good news together. Oni? Oni? Yes, it's sit Sandra. Down. Ah. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sandra, my Sandra. Come here. He's right here. Speak up now. Your mom is dying of suspense here. Yeah. <laughs> I shall not die. I shall leave. <laughs> Amen. Okay, so. I was awarded a full scholarship by the federal government. Hey! And what does that imply? Mom, it means that you will no longer be paying school fees. Wow. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Congratulations congrats, to us. Congrats, congrats, congrats. <laughs> and it also means that my pocket money will have to increase. Oh, that one is not the problem, my dear. It will increase by 100%. Eh? 100%? Ah, let's move it gradually. 10%. Sandra, 10%. Ah, uh, no, no, mom. 10% is too small now. Anyway, Sandra, you just come home first and let's celebrate it. Well, about that, I'm thinking of going to see my sister. Your sister? <laughs> Sandra! No, no, no. You are not going to her. Come on first and let us pray and thank God for this miracle. Forget about your sister for now. I can't forget about her. I need to share this good news with her as well. But she doesn't care about you. <clears throat> Don't talk to her like that. She needs to know the truth. Flora doesn't care about her. But I care about her. And I know that deep inside of you, you care about her too. Of course I do. I care about her. I am a mother, but Flora has decided to tread her own path. I can't force her. 
Mom, allow me bring her home. Bring yourself home first, and then we'll talk about bringing her home. Bye, Mommy. I am expecting you. Bye-bye, Mom. I am serious. I love you, Mommy. Don't use love to cover the matter on ground. Sandra, I am expecting you. Mom, you're the best mommy in the world. Sandra, pack your stuff and come home. Is that clear? All right, bye, mommy. Love you. That's I love you. Sandra loves you. Bye. Hey, this girl. <laughs> what did she do? She ran off. She caught the call. See that? We both know where she got that smartness from. <laughs> but seriously, Oni, I don't want her to go see her sister. But you know what? We really can't stop her if she is bent on going to see her. That is where I need you. I need you to force her to stay. We all know what Flora is capable of. And how dangerous that girl is. See that? My prayer is that one day, we all will come together as one family. But she doesn't want that. You, do you want that? Yes, I do. But I, I can't lose two daughters because I want to save one. Relax. Trust me. As the Lord liveth, you will not lose any of them. Amen. Sandra has a very bright future. And all she needs to do is to, is to preserve that future by moving far away from her sister. But if the Lord really wants her to help her sister and... Uh, Oni, to... what would you like to eat? Oh, we're still talking. I'd rather talk about something else. Talking about Flora brings to life memories that I want dead. There. Yeah. Hmm? It will be okay. Hmm? All will be well. Okay? Amen. Thank you. Babe. Yes? This is all I've got. Uh-uh. How much is this money no complete now? How much be this one? You come back again, fool. Oh, who is calling me again? This is Sandra. Ah. Hello? Hello? Did I wake you up? What do you want again, you this naughty child? Flora, darling. You and Wubi, darling. What do you want? <laughs> Can't I just call to check up on my one and only sister again? Ugh. Let me help your matter if your eyes they push you. You won't borrow money, Abby. That your stingy mama, our money don't finish. Ah, <laughs> now which kind of talk be that now, eh? Ah. I beg, see, I don't need anything from you. I just make I hear your voice. Man, <laughs> then go for be that too. Get out, Joe. How are you, anyways? I'm fine. I was just awarded a full scholarship by the federal government. Eh? Yes. So tell me, are you proud of me? Oh, you know, go better for federal government. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Now, which can't talk be that now, eh? Eh, no. Now the money where they suppose use they repair road, now then they take use do scholarship. You don't forget, say now your sister then give the scholarship to Abby. And so? Anyways, now when you go day house, I won't come visit you one day. No come here, come see me, oh babe. Stay in your school. Even your mama no go allow you come. No, they talk my mama. Now nah, our mama. I don't disown them, te te. You know say she still love you. <laughs> love. 
be me, she love her. Now scholarship girl, she love me. I don't say for her mind. She go there, if say make moto don't jam me, make I don't die. <laughs> ha! You no go die in Jesus' name. Ah, babe. <laughs> Streets no save at all. I go die, if it be now, if it be later. But your sister go still die. If you can't die, now where you go go? I go go place where people where die, they go now. I know say your mama go happy because I, I be bad market for her. Flora, see, you need to give your life to Jesus. It is only Jesus that can give you life. It is pointless living a hellish life on earth and die and end up again wasting in eternity. Jesus loves you and he has so much in stock for you. The devil wants to cut short your life and I'm not going to allow him. Listen, babe. All those talk now for your pocket too. Are you at home? Just let me know when you'll be home. Babe, no travel come here, come find me. Let your head be correct too. <laughs> ah, bye for My babies are here. <laughs> the little bit wiki, the little bit wiki, the little bit wiki, the little bit wiki, the little bit wiki. Ah! See my little, the little bit. Don't touch my face. Eh? If you forgot my name, all you have to do is ask. What's tiki wiki? Gosh. Hey, what, what, what was wrong with your daughter? What is Tiki Wiki? Hey, you know how I used to play with her when she was a baby? Does she look like a baby to you? Uh, what have you done to my daughter now? Uh, when she was in Nigeria, she was so sweet and adorable. She spent just eight years in the UK and I can't even recognize her anymore. What have you done to my Tiki Wiki? Don't be me, oh. Hey, Shadi. Shadi. Shadi, I'm talking to you, Shadi. Shadi. I've had enough. For the past two weeks, I've been pleading with you to allow me to see Martins, but you won't let me. What is happening here? What's wrong with you people? Calm down, Baba. I, I won't be calmed. I refuse to be calmed. I want to know the state of my son. I want to see him. That's what I'm asking from you people. We have strict orders. You can't see him too. So, come another day. Come another day? Which other day? Does that sound reasonable to you? We respect you. That is why we are this calm. So find your calmness. I don't need your respect. As a matter of fact, I've got nothing to do with your respect. I don't need it. What I want from you is for you to allow me to see matters, and that settles it. When the other changes, we allow you to see. When will the other change? When they give us a new one. When are they going to give you a new one? When they think it is appropriate. <sighs> When will they think it is appropriate? When the right time comes. When will the right time come? Please, Baba, enough. You can drop your number. I will reach out to you personally. That was the same thing that you said last week. As a matter of fact, I won't leave this place till I set my eyes on Martin and be sure that he is alright. I assure you, he is alright. But let me see him. Ha! Uh, I've been here for the past two weeks, every day, coming here, and you have been telling me the same thing. Hey, what are you hiding from me? I know very well that you allow other inmates to see their visitors. Where is Martin's case peculiar? Anyone in solitary confinement cannot be granted access. Huh? What did you just say now? I said anyone. No. That's wrong information. I heard him. I heard what he said. You mean you lock up my boy in solitary confinement? For what offense? What has he done? What has he done, Baba? Please, leave. <sighs> Is that part of the order? What are you hiding? Please, leave. You will have to make me leave. You have to force me to leave.
Hello, mommy. How was it, Daddy? Were you able to see him? No, not at all. Uh, we are still on it. Uh, I just finished talking with the officers on duty. How was it? Well, uh, we give glory to God. We give glory to God. You should be on your way by now, please. Mm, I will. Soon. <laughs> What do you want with a woman who molested your son and ruined your life? I don't know myself. Ah, uh, but you see, for some time now, the Lord has been speaking to me about you. The Lord sent me here to see you again. Hmm. Again? Yes, again. Actually, I thought the first time was going to be the last. So the Lord sent you to see a woman who is wasting away? You are not wasting away. The Lord does not want you to waste away. That's why He has sent me here. Lizzie, you should understand how difficult it was for me to come. But you see, over time I've learned not to disobey Him. So now you have obeyed Him. Congratulations. What am I supposed to do with your Bible? Read it. I'm not interested. Lizzie. That is the only one I have. And I'm giving it to you. From my heart. You have enough money. You buy a new one. This Bible was given to me by my son when I was wasting away. And now the Lord wants me to give it to you. Don't you think it is significant? I don't. Reading your Bible cannot change my fate. What is your fate? When you suck an orange, when you are done with it, you dispose it. When you eat a banana, you throw away the pills. You are done with me. The world is done with me. God is obviously done with me. Even I am done with me. So just leave me. Let me waste away in peace. Lizzie, if God was done with you, he wouldn't have sent me here. His love for you brought me here. There's nothing left. Please leave. Lizzie. I don't have the word to explain to you how much hope you have in Christ Jesus. But if you take time to read the Bible, you will realize how much God loves you. Hmm. Thank you. Adebola, you might not know the reason why you are here today. But I'm sure you will very soon. Have a great day. You too, Lizzie. God. Why did you send me to this woman? Why? Why?
Hello, Mr. Adibola. Baba Gwenro. Um, how is Dele? Uh, well, we are fine. We are fine. A quick one. I really need your help, sir. Help? What is it about? My son is in the police custody as we talk now. Ah. Your son? What did he do? <sighs> a young lady framed him up for rape. Uh, so when is the closest possible time you can be in my office so that we can talk about it? About tomorrow. Um, okay, fine. Father, Mr. Martins needs our help, but my dad is failing to see this. Lord, please touch his heart. Make him willing to help. Lord, touch his heart. Lord, help us. Help Mr. Martins. Help us, Lord. Help Mr. Martins. Help us, Lord. Daily. Welcome, Dad. I left your food in the house when I was leaving for work in the morning. You told me you ate after prayers. Yes, Dad. Have you been praying since I left? Well, yes. Mr. Martins? Yes. Dele, we have handed over this case into the hands of the Lord, and I know he will surely intervene. But what if God is trusting us to intervene? How do you mean? Dad, I was not actually praying for Mr. Martins. I was praying that God would touch your heart and make you see reasons why you should stand as Mr. Martins' defense counsel. <sighs> Dele. Dad. I want to handle this case. I really do. But you see, I can't. Because there are top government cases on my table at the moment. And I've never handled top cases of this magnitude before. If I handle this case without adequate preparation and time, I'm afraid, Dele, I will mess it up. Dad, who else will do it? I have colleagues, qualified colleagues. I will hand over the case to them. Dad, please take up this case, please. Dele. <laughs> We have given it up to God already. He has taken it up. If I handle this case, I will crash it down. I hope I've made myself very clear to you. Dad, our brother is in trouble. No amount of explanation is going to justify your inability to help. Dele, I've already offered my help by staying out of this case. It's a great thing that the Lord is doing in your life, Sandra. Yes. To be recognized by the federal government. How many people do you know that are recognized by the federal government? Mm, well, let me see. I know of just one person. Who is that? Me. <laughs> it is the grace of God, Sandra. Yes. And the Lord has a great plan for your life, you know? Mm -hmm. um, oh, 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 wow. wow, mommy, so you have a cake for me. My girl deserves it. Oh, oh this is so beautiful. A cake. Let's do this. What are you trying to do? Oh, I am sharing the cake. Ah, mom, this is my cake. I should be the one to share it. No, no, no. I am sharing it. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> okay. You win. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Good. Thank you. Right. Oh. 
This goes for Daddy. Thank you. Mom. And why is mine so small? Ah, Mom, passion control. Have you forgotten you're on a weight loss? Is it your journey? Uh, Only are you complaining? Remember, don't take the easy sugar. Yeah. I'm helping myself. Mm. And who was that? Um, it's for Flora, Mom. I want to give it to her when I see her. <laughs> you are not going to her place, Sandra. She's my sister. I am your mother. And I know what is best for you. When I ask you mm. to stay, you stay. Please, Mom. Sandra, you just won a scholarship. It is obvious God is happy with you. But do you think the devil is happy? No. What I know is that the devil is super happy that my sister is wasting away as a prostitute. It's a decision. <laughs> no, Mom. That's what the devil wants you to believe. He wants you to give up on her. What I know is that no matter how much a child strays, the bended knees of a mother in the place of prayer will bring her back home. I have lost a daughter. I can't bear to lose two. If you allow me go, you will gain two daughters back. Aren't you going to say anything to all mm -hmm. this? <clears throat> um, I've had the two sides of the argument. Hmm. Um, Sandra, you know your mom is concerned about you. Um, she doesn't want to lose. I mean, she wants you around. Hmm? And um, it will only be nice that you honor her by obeying her instruction, even though you're right. Even if she's right? Um, I mean, uh, I mean to say, if um, I mean to say you are right. You know, your mother cannot be wrong when you are right. I mean, no. Uh, your, when your mother is right, you can't be wrong. I mean, I mean to say, the two of you cannot be right at the same time. <laughs> what? What are you saying? Uh, all I mean to say is that um, two rights cannot make you wrong. Uh, and I have some more cake. <laughs> no, I guess. Oh, what's your control? <laughs> well, you know, um, I can still take more. My, my size can accommodate more. String no bass calling someone. When your number is out today, every time the command will just be calling you. That's why I've been a public figure. <laughs> Who has this string number for God's sake? For God's sake, now. Uh -uh. I don't like all this number. I don't like 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 this number. This is a strange number. I can't be picking strange numbers you know, at the dining table. Hmm. 
Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to respect you, you know. I have to respect you. I can't be picking strength numbers at the dining table. Oh, really? Yeah. Please speak that call. I'm picking string numbers in front of a family. Uh -huh. I don't even know who the person is, for God's sake. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm? Don't worry, be eating your food. I don't know when I've got to come back here. Come back now. Uh -uh. Would you like to allow Jared? Wait, what? Oda. Oh, yeah. Would you like to allow Jared? What do you mean by what do I want? When am I having my money? I told you I'm working on it. There's something called transfer. How difficult is it for you to send me one million naira? It is not as easy as you think now. You just want to use and dump me, Abby? You are imagining things. I told you I'm working on it. Simple. Look, don't tell me that trash. You are not working on anything. Look, if by tomorrow you don't send me my money, I will scatter everything and I'll go in there and make sure that Martin works out a free man. Flora, I'll see you tomorrow. Nonsense. See you tomorrow. So that is the straight number you promised to see tomorrow? Lower your voice. I don't tell you to. She's eating, you are cheating. But they tell me, is it what you are doing when we're away in the UK? Mm. Your wallet is too much. Your wallet. You are a shameless man. You let the daddy able to promise a strength number that you'll be seeing that tomorrow. My God will punish you. Ooh, shameless man. This is funny. What is funny? The case. This kind of case is becoming very rampant. It happened recently in my son's school. It happened to his teacher. They really believe that it is a setup. But you see, I should have handled this case, but um, quite recently, a high profile case from the federal, you know, um, just came to my table. And um, you see, I cannot say no. This has been my dream for a very long time. An answer to prayer, my connection to the top. If I take up another case, Baba Guero, I'm afraid I would be distracted. Are you saying you cannot help me, Mr. Ligola? I wish I could. I'm sorry. Mr. Ligola, you gave me this card last time. You said if I needed your service as a lawyer, you would help me. Yes, I remember. That's the stance. Mr. Debola, I need your service. A brother is wasting away in the prison. Don't allow the devil to use this high profile case to distract you. The devil doesn't bring promotions, Baba Gwenro. This is from God and I don't want to lose it. <sighs> Mr. Adebola, is this high profile case what the soul of a brother? No. Answer me. If you answer me, I will leave this office right away. I said, this high profile case, is it what the soul of a brother? <sighs> Baba Benro, the best I can do for you is to be behind the scene. I cannot be at the center stage on this case. I cannot. Okay, that's okay by me. Fine then. So, um, when can we pay him a visit at the prison? I hope to meet him and, I mean, I would love to ask him some questions and uh, probably connect him with a very good lawyer that I know can handle this case very well. What about tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow is fine. Thank you, Mr. Dibola. Thank you. Thank you to our uh, water brothers for um, we're meant to actually help each other. Thank you. God bless you, Baba Thank you.
Mom? Yes. What are you doing? Getting your things ready. For what? To go visit your sister. Mom! You're the best mommy in the world. Sandra, please. Make this visit very short and come back home. I promise you, Mom, I won't come back alone. I'll come back with her. Sandra, please, Drew, bring her back with you. So when are you leaving? Yes, I'll be here right away. <laughs> are you saying you are denying me access to see my client? I am saying that there is an order from the top that nobody should see. Even his lawyer? Yes, sir. You are? Sergeant Rufus. Sergeant Rufus. You are an officer of the law. I am an advocate of the law. If our war should clash, it will be yours against mine. This phone is on record. Whatever you say will be used against you at the court of law. Sergeant Rufus, are you saying I, Barista Degbola, cannot see my client? Is that what you are saying? What they told us was that. No! Shut up your mouth. Where are your standards? Can't you see he's an advocate of the law? My Barista, um, who are we to deny you access to see your client? <laughs> Please, kindly follow me, sir. What about? No, no, no. Just you. <laughs> After you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Martins. So, I'm so happy to see you, but who sent you here? Your father. Your father sent me here. My, my father? Yes, your father. No, no, no. What is it, Martins? My father sent me here. <laughs> Mr. Degbona, you just signed up with the devil. No. Baba Gbero cannot be the devil. He's a seasoned child of God and he honestly wants you out of here. Wait. Did you just mention Baba Gbero? Yes, Baba Gbero. Was he... Was he the one that sent you here? Yes. Is he the one you've been talking about? Are you saying that Baba Gbero is... is Baba Gbero is right here? Yes, yes. We came together. Ah. He's outside. Yes. Baba Gbero is outside. Sewing competition. 
<laughs> Come on, go ahead and hug each other and let her be on her way. <sighs> so what made you change your mind? Something you said touched me. And what was that? You said, no matter how it I strays away, the bended knees of a mother in the place of prayer can bring her back home. I said that. Yes, you did. I was on my knees all through the night. I felt the Lord leading me to release in order to get back. I am releasing you, Sandra. Please, bring my daughter back home. All right, Mom. <laughs> I will, Mommy. Bring Flora back home. Right. Bring Flora home. <laughs> it's all right now. It's all right, Mom. It's okay. I will. I will bring her back home. Mm, don't cry now. Mm. I'm not crying. You are. <laughs> Me too, I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> oh yeah, you have to be on your way now. Okay. Yeah, driver, take Do me. Do not go you. with you. All right then. And driver... <laughs> Sandra, you need to be on the way. The Lord do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about that, child? Okay. Drive and take it easy. Uh -huh. And drive carefully. Bye bye. Bye, kiss my baby. Thanks for what you said. It is well. Mm -hmm. The Lord is the control. You should just keep on praying. And then let me be called to God. Take charge of God. Hello? Is this um, Mr. Adebola? Yes, on the line. Are you the husband of one Miss Lizzie Adebola? That's right, yes. Uh, well, I am calling from the prison hospital. I have bad news. Miss Lizzie developed a terminal sickness while she was in prison. Last night she was rushed to the prison hospital and she died this morning. Hello? 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 Yeah. Hello, hello, I'm here. Let me just add that she wrote a note for you and kept it in between a Bible. So, how do I get the note, please? You don't have to. I, I can read it to you. It's just a sentence. Please go ahead. Thank you for showing me to Jesus Christ. And then she wrote your name. I'm sorry, things didn't go as planned. I'm sorry I acted the way I did. I don't think they will ever allow me into the police station again. When are you going to connect us to your colleague? It will no longer be necessary. Why? Because I'm personally taking over the case. I bought the high profile case you spoke about. It is not worth the soul of a brother. 
I want to ride on the third dimension. To ride on the third dimension, you need fuel. And that fuel is blood. No blood? No glory. She's going to testify, and when she's done, she's out. I am not leaving anything to chance. I want that girl dead.